I don't think it feels right to anybody. I mean, everyone is is concerned. You know, uh, we made an assessment, or I'm not sure who leads college basketball. You know, uh, it's done by committee. You have oversight committee. You have this committee, and uh, anything that's led by committee uh, is not agile in in handling a situation. And uh, so we made an assessment that, and there was a consensus. It, w it wasn't like well planned that we we're going to start November twenty fifth, and. Uh, that was made without knowing if there was going to be where the vaccine was, how many cases, you know, and basically it was more of a mentality of get as many games in as possible. And I would just like for just for the safety, the mental health and the physical health of our players and staff for their like to assess where we're at, you know, in our, our country today. There's, you have 2,000 deaths a day, you know, you have 200,000 cases, a million and a half last week. You have people saying that the next six weeks are going to be the worst. To me, it's already pretty bad. And, uh, and on the other side of it, there, there are these vaccines that are coming out that where people say that by the end of the month, 20 million you know, uh, vaccine shots will be given, especially to our health care, to the, you know, the people who need it. And by the end of January, end of January or February, in February, another uh, 100 million. Well, should we not reassess that? You know, and you know, see, just see what would, would be best, uh, what would be best. And look, I'm gonna do whatever they say. We're gonna make the most out of everything we say, uh, everything that's not, you know, that's said. But uh, yeah, it's a different time. It, it, it's just a different, uh, a, a different time. And, um, you know, look, I just got my butt beat by a lot. So anything I say, someone can say, well, he's saying that because he got his butt beat. And, uh, you know, what I, do I think things should be done a little bit differently? Yeah. I mean, there, uh, you know, a lot of kids, kids aren't going to be able to go home for, for Christmas. It's probably a time where they should for mental health. Um, uh, we're just plowing through this. And yeah, I talked, I was texting with Steve Forbes last night, you know, his own son got it, five players got it. You know, really even, we should get updates as to how many, how many programs are on pause a week, how many cases there were, what's going on and, instead of um, just plowing through. You know, I, uh, and, but look, I know somebody will take what I'm saying tonight and make it like I'm making excuses. I hope, I, I don't, I don't make excuses. We're, you know, we're, we need to get a lot better, but for the good of the game and the good of the, the safety and the mental and physical health of our players and staff and whatever. We, we need to constantly look at this thing. And uh, I think that's, I think that's a smart thing to do. And whatever happens as a result of looking at it, understand that there are vaccines coming. Thank and, you, Coach. All right. I know the NCAA is worried about the end game. They're, they're not as worried about the game we're playing right now. The, yeah, they're they're in, uh, and who is it that you talk to? Like, why? You know, you're asking me, but shouldn't do you know who to call to ask about that? And and 
you know, we're smiling and we're laughing, but that's sad, right? I think that's sad. That that's not not the way to. And again, Illinois killed us. We're not that good. God, you know, God, God bless everyone. All right, coach. Thanks. For your All right, time. thank you.